welcome back designers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Carpenter, a web designer and illustrator. In today's video, we're going to be creating our very own ticket design. Also, I have one dribble invite up for grabs. So to be in with a chance, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like and post some of your best work in the comments below. Lucky player will be drafted and announced in one of my future videos. So this is the ticket design. As I said in the intro, I am giving away a dribble invite. So I thought I'd base my branding of the ticket on the Dribble branding. Um, if you go to dribble.com forward slash branding, you can actually download uh, the logo package, which includes the three variations of the logo. And you can also grab the hex values for the Dribble colors. So to get started, the first thing we need to do, create a new document, then select the rectangle tool and click it anywhere within the artboard. Create a new rectangle with a width of 1200 pixels and a height of 400 and then just first skin horizontally center that. Next, using the ellipse tool, we want to create a very, very small ellipse around 20, 25 pixels, and then align it to the top edge. Hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, and then drag a duplicate of the ellipse and drag it towards the bottom. While the bottom ellipse is still selected, hold down the Shift key and press the up arrow once on the keyboard, and then repeat the same step for the top ellipse, holding down the Shift key, and pressing the down arrow once. And then this will just nudge it down by 10 pixels just to give a little bit of space at the top. And the next step is we want to join these two ellipses together in a line to create a series of multiple ellipses. And we can do that with the blend tool. So if we select the blend tool, click the top ellipse and then click the bottom ellipse, that will create a blend. And then if we double click the blend tool icon, from within the tool wire, it'll bring up the options window. And we want to change the space into specified steps. And we just want to reduce this number down to around five and then press OK. And once the blend's been created, we need to expand the blend. And to do that, we can go to Object, Blend, Expand. Set the ellipse tool again and then create a slightly bigger ellipse vertically center that to the rectangle and then just zoom in and move this bigger ellipse over the top of the center of the other ellipse. Once you're happy with the sizes, select the big ellipse and the small ellipses and go to object group and then hold down the alt key and shift key and then drag a duplicate and move to the other side of the rectangle. Group both sets of ellipses together by selecting them both and then go to object group and then make sure the group selected along with the black rectangle. From within the Pathfinder tool, select the minus front option. And this will remove the red ellipses from the black rectangle. We now need to repeat the same process, only this time create the ellipses even smaller. Position one at the top and one at the bottom. Create a blend. Change the space into specified steps and then just reduce that down to something like 12 or 13. Press OK, go to Object, Blend, Expand, and then you want to position roughly around three quarters of the way across. Select both shapes and again reapply the minus front to punch the holes into the black rectangle. Next, using the direct selection tool, select the rectangle and select the corner anchor points on all four corners and then just slightly round off the edges. And then we can fill the black rectangle with the pink color. And I'm actually just gonna rotate this anti-clockwise by 180 degrees, it's just so the, the punched edges are to the left. Move the ticket out of the way for now and then drag over the Dribble logo. Increase the size of the Dribble logo and then create nine rectangles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Select them all and just make sure the rectangles are equal to the height of the logo. Starting with the top rectangle, using the direct selection tool, select the left two anchor points, top and bottom, and fully round off the corners using the corner radius handles. And then you wanna continue that doing opposite ends on each rectangle. So the next one down, select the right to top and bottom anchor points, 
round off them corners and then repeat until all rectangles have rounded corners. Once you've rounded off each rectangle, we now need to adjust the width of each. So I'll just start with the second one. So we'll select the three anchor points using the direct selection tool and then move to the left. And then on the third one, select all three anchor points and move it in. And you want to repeat this for each one. Once you've completed each rectangle, select the rectangle tool itself and then drag a different coloured rectangle around all the shapes. Right click, go to arrange centre back and then drag a selection around all the shapes. Shift M on the keyboard for the shape builder tool and then holding down the alt key, just draw a line through the first green bit, the pink shape the green bit, the pink shape, all the way down until you have something which looks like that. With the shape still selected, under the Pathfinder tool, select the Unite option, and this will merge all the shapes into one shape. Zoom out, and then we want to join the edge of the rectangle on this side to the Dribble logo. Right click, arrange, center back, and then we can either keep the shape the same color as the Dribble logo, or we can actually use the darker shade of pink. Make a selection around both shapes and go to Object Group. Select the shape and then just resize it down and make it smaller. Rebring over our ticket and then place the dribble logo over the ticket. So once the artwork is in place, all that's going to be left to do is to start adding some of the textual elements to the ticket. So we can start adding things like a fake barcode. We obviously want to include things like our logo and then obviously any other important information that needs to be on the ticket. That's it for this one folks, thanks for checking it out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also check out some of my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.